是一直点冰箱。It's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my December TBR for 2019. If you guys are unaware, my mom always chooses my TBRs, and it's like her fun little way of being on my channel. So she's very excited about this month's TBR. She keeps bringing me more books. <laughs> oh, so she originally picked like eight books. I made her go down to six, she just handed me another one, so without further ado, let us get started. So her theme for this month is um, Christmas carols, so the first one that she chose was Winter Glass by Lexa Hillier for Walking in a Winter Wonderland. This is the second book to Spindle Fire, it's like a duology, I read Spindle Fire, she's coming back. Sing it, Jay! <laughs> I read Spindle Fire a couple months ago, actually almost a year ago, I'm pretty sure I read it in December last year, so it's about time that I pick up the sequel. Next one she picked was The Tenth Girl. This is by Sarah Faring, and she chose this for The Twelve Days of Christmas. I also chose My True Love Gave to Me by, like, a bunch of authors for that song, but, like, this is getting ridiculous, and your girl cannot read that many books, but just so you all know, this is also on the list. She's coming back again. <laughs> Not a Christmas carol. Baby, it's cold outside. I'm not reading all of these! The next book she chose was Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. This is for Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. I don't even know what that Christmas Carol is actually called. It might be called Let It Snow. But um, this has been on my TBR a couple of times in a couple of videos and I never end up reading it. So I don't know why she thinks I'm going to read it now, but here we are. The next one she chose is Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. And she chose this for Silent Night. And this is a thriller. I know that a lot of she's coming back. I fizzled out. Oh, that's a shame. This is a thriller. I've seen a couple of people read this. They all really enjoyed it. I haven't seen like a negative review yet, so I'm actually very excited for this one. Next is A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall for Deck the Halls. Haha. <laughs> but um, I don't know much about this. I think it's just like a little contemporary book. It's been on my shelf for a while and she got very excited when she saw it, so... The next one she chose was The Accident Season by Moira Foley Doyle, and this is for Tis the Season. I know that this is the author who wrote the spell book of Lost Things, which a lot of people read this year and really enjoyed. I have not read that book. I do own it, but, you know, that doesn't fall into the Christmas, you know, season, apparently, so we can't read it. The next one is just a line from a song. It's Baby It's Cold Outside, and this is Oh Baby by Randy Reisenfeld and H.B. Gilmer, and I didn't even know I owned this book, so I have no idea what it's about. I'm gonna say it's like a chiclet romance, but it follows two small town best friends who get a chance to live in two of the world's most glamorous cities. They're in for an adventure of a lifetime on opposite coasts. My guess is it's a chiclet. I don't know. And then the final book that I'm supposed to read is for my mom's physiotherapist cousin. He wrote a book and her physiotherapist asked if I would consider reading it, so here we are. It's A Bolshevik Christmas by Yoel Berket. It's like a fictional story about if Christmas were taken over by communists, what that would look like. So I'm supposed to read it for review, so you guys might see it on my channel in the wrap-up or you might not because your girl's got a lot of shit to do in December, so we'll see. All right, everyone, so that was my very overly ambitious TBR that my mother put together. Um, she chose way more books than I will ever get through. I'll probably get through one. It is the final, like, push of the first semester of Teachers College, so I'm going to be in the classroom from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every single day, so a lot of reading is not going to get done because I also have basketball, I also have work, and, you know, juggling all those kinds of things so i really don't know how much reading is gonna happen but we're hoping at least a little bit let me know down below what you guys are reading for this month and if you've read any of these books or what you thought of them and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>